Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. This is take two. We were having some issues with buffering a little bit ago, so I was trying again on my husband's laptop. So we'll see if the Wi-Fi looks better or if it's still gonna be buffering. We can't figure out what is going on. So it looks like it's okay. Let me know in the chat if it starts acting up again. <sighs> because, yeah. Uh, uh, annoying. Anyway, this video is just going to be a hangout. Um, I am sponsored by Fermu on this one, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the glasses and everything like that. So I'll get to that in just a second, but I want to make sure everybody's here and that it's looking okay. It looks like it's buffering a little bit. Yeah, there it goes, buffering. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I don't want to really dive into it until. Yeah, Randy, it's still buffering. Yeah, it's like the spinning ball of death. They're like, it's buffering. I'm looking in the chat. No, there's, no. They're saying it looks good, but I'm looking at it and it's just like not. Oh, dear. Let me type in here. Buffering still, huh? Okay. Darn. They're saying hey in the chat, but I'm hopefully, I don't know if they can hear me and just can't see me or what. I'm waiting a bit. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, maybe I'll just pre-record this. This really stinks because I like to come on and talk to you guys. Reload. I don't know if it's, oh, now it's going. Okay, you can hear and see me. Okay, gosh, okay, what is going on? This is super duper annoying for me, I just gotta say. Okay, two, okay, you guys can see it. Okay, whoo, let me know. Oh, this is a great start, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, yeah. All right, we're just gonna pretend like we're just gonna fall forward, how about that? We're gonna have to figure out this whole internet thing. Okay, but I wanted to say, you know, to start off with that, oh, it is lagging, okay, okay, we're just gonna try and see. I feel bad, because I am doing a partial like a sponsored video by Fermu or giving them a shout out. They sent some glasses again. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a little bit, I've done a Fermu video, maybe three of them where I get, um, it's a online glasses. So you can go in and put your prescription and you get glasses, really good quality glasses for 40 bucks or less. And they frequently have really good deals. Um, like right now they've got a BOGO going on, so you can buy one pair, get one free or half off. I have to see, I think, oh no, buy one, get one free. Yeah, for as low as 19 bucks, it says, if you follow the link. So um, I got my glasses, they send, you know, they send it with a box and you get the little doodads for the screws and all the cleaning stuff. And then they're really, really um, cognizant, <laughs> I'm gonna use my big words today, of um, customer satisfaction. So they email a message and make sure you're really happy with your fit. You know, you measure your face and make sure it looks good on you and your prescription is just right. And so these are the ones I just got. So I wanted to share this with you before we jumped into our chat. Here they are. Um, and the reason I always say, I don't do a whole lot of sponsored stuff, but, but when I do, I wanna make sure that it is for something that you guys can use as well, or there's something in it for you because we're all on a budget. Well, not, not all on the budget, but I think most people are. So if you're looking for a good way to get some inexpensive glasses, check out for Moo online. <laughs> so definitely worth the checkout. And yeah, oh, exclusive, 50% off. Why are they, I got these like, these coupons. So here, I'll hold it up. <laughs> so you can use one of those too. Just grab the scanner, <laughs> the scanner box, whatever you, the QR code. 50% off, right, with this code, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I like to do things that are frugally minded and things that you might be able to use as well because you guys know glasses are expensive if you wear them. Okay, so once again, thank you for move for that. And let's jump into the chat. Yeah, I've got about, on the glasses, I've got about four, this is my fourth pair. And the one, one other pair that I wear a lot are similar to these, but they have like a little magnet where I can clip on my sunglasses, which I love. Those are my my favorites. This is maybe my my second. But I'm always le I'm, I'm gonna talk about them some more. <laughs> but I'm always leaving them at home. Like I'll have one, I'll like bring it inside and forget it. Keep one in the car, keep one here, keep one in the purse. So 
yeah, it's handy. It's handy and inexpensive, so that's good. <sighs> All right, so how are you guys doing? It's been a few days. Things have been things, right? Just trying to get life get going around here. Um, and so I haven't ha been on in a couple of days. So anyway, I just wanted to come in and say, hey, and see how everybody's doing. And just, you know, give us some encouragement. I feel like yesterday I had to do some gratitude, right? I had to sit back and think about what I was grateful for. I was asked, I, I'm sharing that down below too. I'm, I was asked to do a collab with a homeschool, um, some of the other homeschool channels. They were all doing their back to school favorite things collab, right? And so I'm like, oh, that sounds like so much fun. But wait, I'm not we're not there yet. We're not like going back to school. We're not getting our stuff. Like this is how like everything just still feels. And I'm, I'm sick of talking about how crazy things have been. And I'm sure you're sick of hearing about it. Maybe. Um, but I said, you know what? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to do it because I took a twist on it and then just did like the things I'm grateful for and things I'm excited about getting back to school with my kids. Uh, so we had fun. The boys and I made a really cute video. Um, for that. So I, I linked my video down there and I linked my, the, the collab with the other channels down there too, just in case you want to check it out because I thought they were so sweet to reach out to me um, because I'm new on in the homeschool scene. So there's that. Um, but yeah, let me know how you guys are doing and in the chat. Cause I really, yeah, I just, I miss you guys. So I'm going to say, Hey, Hey Cindy and Pamela. Hi Maggie and Francis. Thanks for coming. So San Juana. Okay. Um, hi. Okay. Did I say hey to Francis already? I can't even think. Um, hey, Pamela. And oh, yeah. Hey, impromptu thrift. Thanks. Thank you. Let's be happy thrifter. Thanks for coming to hang out, you guys. I really appreciate it. So that being said, too, I have some friend mail. I'm waiting in the chat to see if you guys say any more because I really I want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm going to show you a, a clip of the of the video because we had we had so much fun um, doing it. I'm going to do it now. Just, no, I don't have it pulled up anymore. Darn it, because I switched computers. Urgh. Let me see if I can pull it up real fast. Because we uh, we did this cute thing where like I was showing the different areas. Like we got a new play structure for the guys. And so we were I would show the play structure and then we would like make this like robot sound. And then like the kids would appear and they'd be like, what? Where how did I get here? You know, like it was really cute. Anyway, I'll leave the link. The link is down there if you want to see it. It was really cute. Okay, but I we we've gotten some friend mail that I just haven't had a chance to come on and share with you guys. Um, so Casey Lakin sent this body book because we're going to be doing a little bit with anatomy later in the year, and I found some stuff at a garage sale and was talking about that, and she came across this and sent it to me. I thought it was so kind. And, and I, I owe people thank you cards. Things have been so crazy. I know we owe Cindy a thank you card. My boys need to write one for the goodies that she sent. I mean, it's just been, yeah, yeah. So um, thank you cards are on the way. So this is the body book and it's like, you know, they can create like, I guess I copy it and then they put the body together and they learn about the different body parts, right? Who are those? What are these? Oh, these are placed over the inside, the different parts of the brain. Okay, cool. So that's going to be cool for the kids because they're really hands-on and active. Anyway, so there's that. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, we had some postcards, which the guys are not here right now. They're at a camp, so we'll save the postcards. And if you're interested in checking that out or if you're like, what is that? It's not really good. Somebody's put, somebody put something really yummy smelly. Anyway, they smell good. Um, if you're interested, the guys have a big, what two big maps upstairs, like a United States map and a world map. And so we were doing a call out for different postcards. If you'd like to send a postcard for the guys to find it on the map and learn a little bit about your area, because I'm making them, not making them, I'm making them learn. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, you don't want to know that my CPA is moving. Well, that's the mail from the CPA. And then, um, I don't know, I've just gotten some nice, nice letters lately. And I do, I, I keep them all. <laughs> I think I mentioned this once before because uh, somebody mentioned in one of the other videos where, and I wish I could remember who, cause I hate saying somebody, but that sometimes when they get down, they go and read their good feedback on their shops. And I was, I said, you know, yeah, I, when I taught, I kept letters from all my students and their parents because sometimes you have bad days. Uh, same thing here. You're like, sometimes I have bad days. And I, before this 
you guys know, sometimes I have problems with anxiety and depression. And so before this, I was laying in bed. My sister demanded I go take a nap, but I can't sleep in the day. So I was laying there and just like, I don't know, so grateful for for the support and everything. I don't know. I, I was I was just not sure I was going to come on live, honestly. I But I felt like I needed to. I missed everybody. <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling today, so... I don't know. Hang in there, y'all. Things will get back to normal eventually. <laughs> Maybe in the new year. Don't give up on me. Okay, then we got some other mail. If you And again, if you're interested in doing the... Um, I feel like I'm saying I'm a lot too. If you're interested in doing the postcards for the guys, the, the P.O. box is in the description box. And it's also, I think, on my big banner up there. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Christine and Sonia. Hello. Thanks. Hey, Pamela. It's water, I promise. <laughs> so we also got some cool stuff. My sister was supposed to come too, so I guess it's kind of a bummer also. My sister was supposed to come yesterday, but her uh, physical therapist told her, what are you doing? <laughs> no, you cannot drive two and a half hours. So she was bummed. I was bummed. We're all bummed. Anyway, so we got some nice... Oh. This is from this is from Mrs. V. Carla. I won't read out the whole letter, but I just I want to appreciate. I just really appreciated the card. You are your own unique story, and that was yeah. So that was from Vicky. Thank you. <laughs> You're fine. We're going nowhere. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know, but I yeah this. I really appreciated it. I appreciate, and I think. She sent a letter for Elaine, which I didn't open. So, Elaine, just look. I haven't opened your mail. <laughs> um, and then the nice congratulations and nice gift for our, like, a housewarming, which I thought was really sweet. So, okay, you can say thing. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, I'm slow right now. I haven't been sleeping great. I don't know. Anyway, let me know if you guys have questions or two. Like, I want to feel like I'm... I'm helping too. So she, I think he also sent some some stuff for the boys and some stuff for my sister because my sister's been making sun catchers and wind chimes and things like that. So I think these are for the sun catchers. I'm gonna guess. Um, I think she put it in the note too. Some really nice. My sister uses like glass beads and stuff to make sun catchers, and she's gonna be giving me some or one to do as a giveaway pretty soon. So she had talked about that. So these are some other things for my sister. And I don't know if these are for me or for, for her, but these are some Druzy, those Druzy quartz. No, 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 that's um, Goldstone. Some little Goldstone rocks. I was getting mixed up, <laughs> whatever. And then some fun watches, fun for the boys to, to in, um, enjoy playing around with. So I went out to a couple garage sales this morning and I don't know. I didn't find a lot. I, I one, it was all like greasy metal things, which sounds like unappealing maybe, but I had so much fun digging through boxes and finding like caster wheels and hinges and locks and keys and things. I was trying to find things I thought my boys would enjoy um, uh, using to create things later. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm saving things for my sister. Yeah, definitely. I will do that. Um, is a link. She's not selling them yet, Joni, but I'm encouraging her to because they came out so so cute. Did I show the other one she made me? I think it's upstairs. Or I would go, where is it? I think it's upstairs. <laughs> I'm a horrible sister sometimes, I swear. Oh. Um, and then some cool watch bands from my guys. These are from Vicky. Um, just some fun stuff for them to play around with. I don't know if these are for her or for my sons or I guess whoever calls dibs on them. Right? And then she said this one reminded her of me, who says rodeo girl. And then on the back it says, kick up your heels, which I love, thank you. So, I don't know, I just, cast a real sell on eBay, well do they, awesome. These ones are not like super heavy duty metal ones, they're like metal and plastic, does that matter? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> maybe I'll set them aside. There were also some, oh well, they're on the back of the car, um, some drawer pulls, but they were really cool drawer pulls. They were, try to say drawer pulls. How does that sound to you? Drawer, drawer pulls. Sounds weird saying it. Anyway, whatever. Um, but they were like Celtic knots 
and they were mixed like metal. So they were like kind of gold tone, brassy and um, silver. I wish I had one to show you because they were really cool. So I was digging, trying to find them all. They reminded me of my coat buttons on my, <laughs> this is so random, on my coat, my winter coat that when in Houston I rarely wore. I had replaced the buttons on it with these like big Celtic knot buttons. Anyway, whatever. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Quilty <laughs> Vintage Air. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. So I know I was going to talk about some other things. Let me see what I said. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, it's just one of those days. It's just one of those days. So I talked about the glasses. I showed you the friend mail. Maybe I could show you the clip of, of the boy. I don't know if you can care. I don't know. I'll just, I'll let you watch it if you want. It's really cute though. The boys were super excited. No, I don't want to say super excited, but they were getting into like pretending like they just like got zapped into a place. It was really cute. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I've got some ride alongs I need to edit to get those put up. And this weekend we're supposed to be working on unpacking in our bedroom and hopefully in my workroom because I want to get back to work. <laughs> I want to get back to work. Anyway, I feel like that's all I say anymore. It's like, I just want to get back to work. And I don't know. Anyway, whatever. How are things going with the house? They, things are going okay. There are, there are ups and downs. Um, my, the plumber, oh, you guys, the plumber. Um, so the plumber, when we first, you know, realized that we were having problems with the downstairs shower, uh, I'm not going to mention his name or anything just in case, but the plumber ordered the part that we needed because like the pipe in the wall, when you turned it on all the way, would like bang in the wall, blah, 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 like the whole time banging in the wall. Um, so he ordered the part and then just like dropped off the face of the planet. So two weeks later, you know, I called and they're like, did you get the part in? You know, you said it was going to be in Monday. I called on Friday and then the next Friday, the Friday after, because I never heard anything. And then he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got the part in. I'll come Monday, um, 10 o'clock. So Monday, this this is this week, Monday, he didn't show up. So I called and was like, hey, it's me. Um, you know, you're going to come today? And he's like, oh, I totally forgot. I'll come tomorrow. Just tell me when. I said, okay, same time, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So he shows up. He comes in and he says, okay, so what am I here for? I was like, you ordered the part? Remember the shower? Like, and then the hot water's not working. And then the shower, you know, like the pipe is, he's like, oh, yeah. So he goes in and looks and he comes down. He's like, yeah, that part's in my other truck. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back another day. Like, what? Okay. Um, like, you ordered the part. How do you forget who you ordered the part for? And then, like, why? Like, you're just showing up people's house randomly. Like, what am I here for? Like, you know? So then, Wednesday, like he's supposed to come Wednesday. Again, this is every day this week, Monday, Tuesday, and on Wednesday. He's supposed to come at 1.30. I'm talking to my sister, and she's like, so what did the plumber finally say? And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's 2.30. He never showed up again. So I like, called him at 2.30. I'm like, dude, what is up? You know, and he's like, I forgot again. <laughs> I'm like, you really don't want to do this, do you? He's like, okay, okay, okay. When do you want me to be there? I'll be there tomorrow. I was like, what's the earliest you what's the first job you do? I want you there then. And he's like, eight o'clock. I said, fine, eight o'clock. And then he was like, can we make it 8.30? <laughs> just like, whatever, just get here. So he comes and he's talking about how it's like cheap Chinese parts and like no real plumber would use these and that's blah, 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 the problem. And um, so he fixes it. And I was like, okay, so the hot water's all fixed too now? He's like, what are you talking about hot water? I don't know anything about the water. And I was just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah. And he was just like, I don't know who's responsible for like the hot water. I mean, just we like, what do you mean who's responsible for the hot water? You're going to have to get someone in here to fix the hot water thing. I'm like, yeah, that's you. You're the plumber, right? So, I don't know. Then he starts talking about having to rip the whole shower out and punch through the wall, through the kitchen, you know, like where the dining room table is. I'm just like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> I will figure it out later. <sighs> um, and then with the AC, like this is the whole thing. We've had the AC people out four times because um, we have a home warranty. So we've called and had, and they send out whoever they want. I guess whoever picks up the job that's in their system. So we've had like four different AC people come out. 
super annoying <laughs> because they all say something different, right? They all say there's something else that we need to have done. And the last one was just like, you, your AC unit is not big enough for your house. Like one day the upstairs was like 85 degrees, 84 degrees. And now like my workroom and then the downstairs bedroom, they just don't cool off. So they, um, or they're saying basically I need to get my AC unit rehauled, like a separate unit for upstairs, a separate unit for downstairs. And I'm just like, man, I'm freaking out. That's a lot of money. I'm stressed. So right now I just put it on the back burner. I don't know. I just can't right now. Um, let's see. So that's what's going on with the house. <laughs> right. How's my mom doing? My mom's okay. We went last week, the boys and I went um, home. I guess we were there from Tuesday till Saturday morning. So we spent a good number of days there. Went fishing with my dad and went to the beach, had some fun. So she's doing okay. And we're planning on, we're going to be coming back to Houston basically once a month for sure. Because my guys, there's like a, a homeschool group there that does some some things that we want to stay involved with and it's a once a month type of deal. So we want to make sure, so we'll be there once a month anyway. So Chris, Cindy says, yeah, it sounds like my roofer. Yeah, oh brother. Hi Flippin' Hustler, how's it going? Hey Truth Seeker. Um, you have, yeah, I would have ripped him a new one, Monica said. That was the thing, like I didn't want to get, maybe this is me, I think too far into it. Or maybe I've had enough people like be vindictive that I'm just like, I'm just worried if I said something or like let him have it, like he would fiddle with it and like mess it up. Or if he messed it up, like, and I needed, or if he didn't do it right and I needed him to come back, he would never come back. Right. And my sister was just like, do not even have him put it in. Don't, don't even have him come back. But I don't know. So just one thing after another. And the, and the, no, I don't think I, I don't think it was any kind of drug problem or alcohol. He was a much older fella. I think maybe he was just absent minded. I'm not sure. Um <laughs> it didn't tell me. Oh, okay. Um my mom's room. Well, yeah, that's the room we've been working on because, you know, and that was the other thing too. Like I kind of fussed at him. I did fuss at him a little bit because I was like, look, my sister's coming on Thursday. Cause at the time she was coming on Thursday and I was like, I need her to be able to take a shower in there. You know, I need to get this room put together. Cause she's, I mean, she can go upstairs, but it's challenging, you know, like I don't want to put too much strain on her hip right now. So I was like, I need this room ready. I need that shower fixed. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, they're just trying to, yeah, yeah. So I, that's what I think too, impromptu thrift with the AC thing is that these are like, and there's nothing wrong with smaller run companies, but oh, coffee, hang on. But these are ones that are through the home warranty company. And so I think I'm going to go look for ones that are, you know, accredited and that have better business bureau and that are a little bit, and just get some bids and get them to come look at it. Cause yeah, that's even pay, get the part and lease them. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah. Hey, Queen City Picker. Hey, everybody. Um, so that's what's been going on with that. Um, yeah, Sonia, for sure. That, it's just been the story of everything. And honestly, things have started slowing down, like, as far as the stress level. So I, I was saying the other day, like, the other night, I, I said, I finally felt like I was home. I can't remember if I was telling you guys or somebody else, because I, I feel scatterbrained right now. Um, but we finally, you know, I've been focusing on downstairs so that I have a haven from the upstairs madness. You know, this is downstairs. We finally got our couch. Yay, couch. Um, and I was like, we got our play structure in. The guys are outside playing. And I was inside making dinner. I was doing breakfast for dinner. Some people hate it. Some people love it. Let me know what you think. Are you a breakfast for dinner fan or not? But we were making breakfast for dinner. And I was just like, finally. You know, I, it felt really good to be like, okay, I'm going to have the house looking nice when Randy walks in the door. You know, we're going to have dinner on the table. It was the first time in months. I'm not exaggerating. First time in months that we had all sat down to the table and eaten dinner. The house looks awesome. Oh, thanks, Randy. <laughs> Thank you. It looks good. 
Thank you. Um, yeah, but I was like, it felt really good to feel like I am able to create that environment, you know, for us. And I don't know, again, apologies if you're, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, but just like getting bacon frying in the house and like flipping pancakes and watching the kids play and swing. It was just like so nice, you know, sit down, eat meal at the table, all four of us. Cause we haven't had a table in a while. So we didn't have one at the apartment. <sighs> anyway, um, am I drinking my coffee black? Yeah, I'm a black coffee drinker. No sugar, no cream, nothing, just straight black coffee. Um, the only time I drink something other than black coffee is if I go to Starbucks, I get um, almond milk mocha with only one pump of mocha, so it's not too much sugar. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like Starbucks black coffee, so. Queen City Baker says grits, yeah, baby. So grit, okay. How do you how do you take your grits? You put you put like, just like butter, or do you like cheesy grits? Or I'm just like I like my grits straight, like just a little bit of butter. Mm, depends on my mood if I want salt or sugar on them. So <laughs> everybody's got their grit, their way they may have grits, right? Well, I guess not everybody. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, total black coffee fan, yeah. Breakfast for dinner is the best. I, I th there was a lady I taught with that she was just like, whenever I said we were doing breakfast for dinner, I mean, she had a really big problem with it. Like, what? Who does breakfast for dinner? Like, what is that? Playing with a little pepper. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Patty says, I had the same thing happen. We got termites. Lights not working. Sewage backed up. I cried for four days straight. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that when it rains, it pours, right, Patty? It's just, a, I mean, this should, this should do us for a while, right? This should do us for a while. You still don't like grits. <laughs> You've never had grits. I've never had, what is it called? Poot, poutine? Is that what it's called? That's the thing with the french fries and the gravy stuff, right? Which I think my boys would probably love. You love breast, you don't like grease in the morning, Cindy says. Oh, okay. Porridge, like, like oatmeal? Like we do oatmeal almost every single day. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> we have oatmeal. We get the big like tub. We're just chatting. We're just chatting. If you're watching later, who milks almonds? <laughs> almonds don't lactate, right? Um, but they're yeah. Anyway, but yeah, we get the big thing of oatmeal, and then Michael likes the the apple cinnamon like instant oatmeal, but it's a lot of sugar. So we'll do like one scoop of quick like the oats from the tub, and then like half a packet of the, the apple cinnamon, right, um, on top. So he doesn't get too much, too much sugar. So is that what you mean by porridge? Is there like another porridge thing? This is another thing, this is my splurge. Can you hear it? I really wanted a mantle clock. <laughs> and I wanted the, the chimes, like it reminds me of my grandmother, you know? And so I like it a lot. Anyway, um, it's gonna ring three times, hang on, that's it. All right. Um, yeah. So we have we have oatmeal. Love grits. Good for you. Breakfast or dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's really a cozy sound. Yeah. My grandmother had not a grandfather clock, but I think they call it a grandmother clock, where it's kind of like a grandfather clock, only it hangs on the wall. Um, but she wanted my brother to have it when she passed away. So it's at my brother's. Yeah. So it says Westminster chimes. Yeah. I think this one also plays Ave Maria. Now you can get them that play like, there were other, when I ordered this one, there were ones that you could get that had like a cacophony of different, is that the right, the right word? Is that the right word? I may be choosing the wrong word. It had a, a huge amount of options for songs. You could like have it play. And there were ones that would, you could set it to play Christmas songs every hour, you know? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get that, that one. So I have a Charlie Brown clock for that. Thank you very much. Um, if I want my Christmas songs every hour. Anyway, breakfast for dinner must consist of bacon and french fries. <laughs> that sounds good. What's my favorite type of pizza? Um, boy, that's a good question. I, I can't, I've been trying to wean myself off the bread, but when I go, do you guys have mod pizza where you are? I really like mod pizza because I can get the gluten-free. I don't think I, I have, I don't know. I think, I don't know what I have. Anyway, he just went upstairs, but I'll tell him when he comes down to come say, hey, 
I'm, I'm easy with my pizza. I like pizza every which way, honestly. It's cheesy, you know, it's yummy. So, but mod pizza is kind of like a subway, you know, and you, you, they get your pizza and you like pick your toppings, right? So I like sausage and I like, but at home, we do, um, Randy likes to put banana on pizza. Have you ever had banana on pizza? Flat, flat, right? yeah. But then here there's Conan's pizza, which we've enjoyed going to. Um, but I like their wings. So even though the guys will all get pizza and I might steal a bite or two, I mean, if you live in Austin, the Conan's pizza, it's so, it's like, a, it's like in an old Mr. Daddy's or something. And then the, I don't know, they have like the stand up little arcade so we can give the, the boys a bunch of quarters and they can go sit and like play. There's only like four or five video games over there, but like, oh, like Pac-Man and stuff like that. So they can play while we're waiting for our pizza. Poutine, French fries, curd cheese with barbecue sauce, Italian poutine, add meat. So. <sighs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh, yeah, when Randy comes back, I'll have to come say, hey, he, he went upstairs for something. I don't know. He's working at home today, so that's nice. It sounds like the shower is running. I don't know why he would take a shower now. I don't know. Anyway, um, what else is going on? So I'm going to try to go out tomorrow. Your favorite? Oh, your favorite is spinach and artichoke. Yeah, let me know, you guys, what your favorite pizza is since you're just talking. Thanks, guys. I needed this just to come and chit chat. But yeah, I have a ride along. I need to, I probably have two ride alongs that are backed up that I need to edit and put out. Um, but I'm going to go look at some garage sales. But it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Which part of Canada would you find that in? Would it be like in French Canada or would it be like on the west side? I don't know all the um, territories. What do you call them? Provinces. I'm not sure. Sausage and pineapple. I can recommend pizza with ricola. 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 Are those? I miss Costco's Forge. Pizza with ricola. Do you mean like ricola? Like the like ricola? Like that? <laughs> Hawaiian pizza. Oh, yeah. I don't know what Ricola is if it's not that. <laughs> Montreal. Okay, okay, yeah. Spinach and artichoke. Yeah. Well, then that was one of the reasons I liked um, Maud because sometimes they would have seasonal things like um, grilled cauliflower, and that was really good on the pizza. I was really surprised. Ricola is rocket in English. So you like pizza with rocket. I think Ricola sounds better. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, he's not come back down yet, or I would have him come say hey. But anyway, um, I don't know what else. Yeah, I nope. I haven't been sorting things. I haven't been getting mm -mm, nope. I merch, but even that, nope. Yeah. I don't know how much longer I can wait for him to come down for you guys to say hey to him. I don't know what he's doing up there. I don't know. Okay. I'll have him come say hey next time. But um, yeah, if you are interested, uh, this is not normally how I do my videos. Usually this is like a Sunday style video with just a hangout. Um, has my mom seen the house? Yeah, she, she helped me when I was looking for houses. She came up for about a week to peek around at all the different houses. So she has seen it. She hasn't seen it since we've started setting things up. Um, Randy puts, yeah, banana. Yeah, totally banana. Lisa says, hey, come say hey. I have my face on. Okay, but they're saying, come say hey. <laughs> You're hungry now, Swag Maven says. I think we're going to the movies tonight. There hey. he is. See, he exists. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Hey. Hey. Oh, you were asking about the um, grits. Grits. I take mine al dente. Al dente. Okay. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. Hey, Vaughn. Hi, Ravina. Hello, hello. Sorry if I didn't get to say hey to somebody in the chat. I hate that I miss, miss people sometimes. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to I'm gonna hang up. They're saying hey, Randy. Hey, hey, hey. Jenny says, we love you, Randy. Love you, <laughs> uh, He looks good in yellow, Kaylee says. Dan says, I had Peking duck spring onions and hosen sauce on pizza once. Hmm. That sounds good. Like if the sauce part doesn't have like the red sauce, then you get like, 
the host and sauce down there. That's good. Now I'm hungry for pizza. <laughs> I don't have any pizza. No, oh, well. Okay. <sighs> Conan's. But we're going to go to the movies tonight. Aren't we? Was that tonight? Either or. It doesn't matter. Nothing's set in stone. Kind of like Randy. Kind of looks like Miranda's husband from Second Sex in the City. What was his name? Mr. Big. No, not Mr. Big. The one that was a bartender. You don't look like Mr. Big. The other one. I don't know. It's a, I guess he made it on to Sex in the City, so it must be good. Steve. Steve. That's what says. That's Steve. Yes. Christine says, "If I make a pizza later, I blame you." I want to see the the mug. The mug. The mug. This is the mug or the Meg? I don't know. Yeah. This is from where Randy used to work, but they got bought out, so he doesn't work for them anymore. Am I allowed to say who you work for or no? Yeah. Maybe. Well, they can look up who the Magento got bought out by. This is who he used to work for. Who they got bought out by somebody else. Big. Big fish. By a big fish. <laughs> yeah. Um. The May, uh, huh? Oh, the, oh, the movie. Duh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, James wants to see that too. The Meg Megalodon movie. They're saying the mug. Sorry, mm. I don't. I'm not good with scary movies. Um, but James was asking, like, can Daddy and I go see a movie, and you and Mikey go see a movie? Because I get really. Mikey and I are both chickens. Okay, we're just gonna put it that way. I, I have really, I have a very active imagination. I don't want to say I'm a chicken. I have a very active imagination. And so it's very easy for me to picture as I'm walking to the bathroom in the dark, you know, something getting me or jumping out at me or grabbing my leg when I'm trying to get back into bed or something like that, you know? So I have a very active imagination. I have a feeling Mikey does as well. So a new Halloween movie. Oh no. I saw what I remember seeing one of those when I was, uh, Younger, and I remember the song still. What is it like? Three more days till Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Three more days till Halloween. Silver shamrock, or whatever it was. <laughs> Purple shamrock. I'm scared of movies of the. Oh yeah, the movies of things that are possible. This is true. Yeah, yeah. Swag maybe says Jaws frightened me when my dad took me to when it, to see it when it came out. Oh yeah. Um, like your sketchy doll. I still have my sketchy dolls too. You begged to go and had nightmares. Still won't go in the water. I, oh no! Yeah, when we were at, when we went to the beach, this is how James and my dad are out there fishing. So they're like wade fishing, and James is he's, he's not scared or phased or anything. So it's really sweet, you know, because he and my dad are very similarly temperamental, and they just go and be quiet and stand out in the surf and fish, right? Well, where they were standing, they were on this sandbar. And so Mikey wanted to go out. You know, Mikey's not super scared either, but he, you know, wants me to go with him. I'm freaking out because we have to go through, you know, if you know how the golf or the surf works, like there's a sandbar and then there's a dip down and then there's another sandbar. And so as we come off the first like little sandbar and dip down, like Mikey can't touch anymore. So he's like doggy paddling with me. And it's like up to here on me and the water temperature drops, right? And I know that's like where the, the fish like to go and the things that eat the other fish like to go. And so I'm walking like this, like, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. You know, trying to get to the other sandbar where my dad and my other son are. Um, and, but I mean, we were totally, I was totally right to be freaked out because just down the way from where we were fishing, another couple of, um, another group caught a stingray a pretty sizable one like it really took them a, they had to fight it and a shovel head which is a kind of um like a type of hammerhead but their head looks like a like a shovel shaped so and it was a smallish one but still so then my dad is like we're trying to fish into we could see these schools of mullet coming because they were up near the surface and he's like here comes another school of mullet you know let's cast into that and like you don't want to catch mullet why are you why are you trying to catch mullet? And then he's like, no, it's not the mullet we're trying to catch. It's the things that chase in the mullets that we're trying to catch. I'm like, <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Um, okay, let me look back in the chat. 
Yeah, I know, right? Yvonne, I don't want the horrific images in my database. There's enough real stuff that happens. But then there's movies that I'm like, I really want to see it, right? Like, I really wanted to see the, the woman in black because it had Harry Potter in it, but I just couldn't do it. Yeah. Impromptu. I get affected with scary things. I get nightmares. Totally. Walking Dead. I can't. I tried to watch Walking Dead because just because everyone was talking about it. I think I mentioned this before, but I could not. I couldn't even get past the first probably 15 minutes of the first episode. As soon as there was like this little girl zombie that like turns around and starts coming after the guy when he's just figuring out what's going on. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I'm freaked out. Freaked out. I could not watch it. So. And, <laughs> and the thing was too, it like on the golf, anything is possible, right? Because after all the rains, I mean, I don't think it had rained too much since, while we were there, but after the, the hurricane and after we'd had some bad flooding, what happens is all that water flushes down the, the bayous and the rivers. And um, so the salt, the, the fresh water and salt water start mixing right in the, in the Gulf. And a lot of things that get that are in the rivers and bayous and stuff gets flushed out too, right? And so what kinds of things are in the bayous and the Gulf? Alligators. So they were having alligators turning up on the beaches in Galveston and places along the Gulf because they were getting washed out of the bayous and stuff. So that was another option of something that could be floating around. I mean, I don't think they were at the moment because it had been not, I don't think there had been a lot of flooding and, and stuff, but it's a possibility. <laughs> you know? so, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Scary, scary. Do you, okay, hang on. Let me go back. Cause I'm missing some stuff in the chat. Uh, do, do, do. Are we going to see Winnie the Pooh? I think that's actually what we're going to go see. We're going to go see Christopher Robin. Probably <laughs> nice. Safe Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> right. Um, so hi Jude. Hi. And I'm sorry if I'm again, if I missed anybody. Hi, hi. Um, in the water. Well, okay, we already read that. The extras scare you. No horror. Yeah, the I think the Ring was the last like actual really scary movie that I watched. I never saw Saw or like the what is it, The House on Haunted Hill or The Hills Have Eyes or any of those. But I saw, I did see the Ring, and that freaked me out. The first one. That was probably the last one. I was like, and here's the thing: if you've seen the Ring, I'm not gonna like, and if you haven't, well, spoiler. So I'm watching it and I'm like, oh, this is, this is pretty scary. And if you've seen it, like the first part's not the, really the scary part. You know, they're figuring out where, what happened to this girl and she's down some well, blah, 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 blah. And then the mom is like laying in bed with her son. And I'm like, oh, it's thinking the movie's like pretty much over. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's not so bad, you know? And she's lying there. She's like, don't worry, honey. You know, we found her, we got her out. And the little boy like goes like, you weren't supposed to take her out. <laughs> and I remember feeling like, Oh no! I thought I had made it through a scary movie with with like not freaking out too bad. And as soon as that happened, I was just like, my stomach dropped. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that was enough. Um, oh my my thing just jumped. Um, last movie. Okay, that was that. But some scary movies, I just oh, is it is it buffering again? Oh dear. Uh, never swim near a pier either. Between sandbars is not a good place. No. Yeah. Um, the movie Split freaked me out. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah. Sons of Arc Anarchy is as scary as I get, Yvonne says. Um, I'm looking in the chat. I was in South Carolina. I was pretty far out, and the lifeguard called me in. There were shark sightings. Ugh. I mean, it's just is. I mean, that's, and that's the thing. Like, that's where they live. We're in their backyard, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, I used to live on the beach for years on the Gulf. I've seen big boy fish near the shore, never wear anything shiny, especially at dawn or dusk. Good call. Yeah. I, um, my, my swimsuit is navy blue. So hopefully, I got to see what my boy swimsuits are. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, and then my dad's like, oh, you know, I used, he didn't, he's like, I didn't bring my thing that, you know, when you catch the fish, instead of having to go back into the, walk back to the, the sand to get your, you know, put your fish where you got, you know, get new bait, he would have like this thing, right? Um, 
but he didn't have it with him. Well, one time he'd had, oh, what's it called? Like a drag line or something where he would, with the fish that he would catch and it's on his long line that goes out so that, that it's not right beside you, right? Um, so one time he had that, what's the name of it? Is it called a drag line? It's some, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, he was pulling it back in and when he got it, it was just like fish heads on there. Something had come along and just like boop, ate up all his fish. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the, it, we had a really good day though. We really needed it out there. So Christopher Robin sounds nice. I just want one of those luxury recliners in the movie theater, some popcorn, and I'm good to go. We bought some movie candy at HEB at the grocery store. They had like the big box candy for like a buck a piece. I had a big giant tub thing of it. And I was like, okay guys, pick out like three different ones that you like. We'll stick it in the pantry. So we have it when we're ready to go to the movies. Cause it's like $17 if you want to buy one at the theater, <laughs> you know? Um, but the popcorn, I will splurge on the popcorn. So you need to spend more time listening to get the imagination under control. Yeah, I um, I would love to. <laughs> I don't. I could show you my workroom, but then you said you don't want to have nightmares. <laughs> we don't like scary movies around here. It's pretty bad. Realistic horror movies are better. The Hills Have Eyes. Well, my thing is like, there's ones that I just have to watch, right? Like the M Night Shyamalan ones are so good. You know, even I mean, I watched um, Signs. And that one was scary because I used to be really into reading about like UFOs and aliens and stuff, you know, this was back in college. So it, it like brings up those, like reading all of those books back when I was reading the X-Files, all that good stuff, you know? Um, and the other, <clears throat> the others was another one. I don't know if he did that one or not, but it's another one that has that twist at the end. And even though I know throughout the whole movie, what really is going on, I'm not going to spoil it for you even though I know throughout the whole movie what's going on, I just, I still get scared, right? And the other one, the, the I, I see dead people one. What's that one called again? What's it called? But yeah, the like ghosts in that one freaked me out. The, yeah. Yeah, the other's twist was great. Oof, totally. And I know there's some new ones coming out. And like Neil Gaiman stuff, I know his stuff can be scary and dark. But I love him so much. He's such a good writer and he's, you know, he's so imaginative. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Let me look back in the chat too. Uh, the price of concessions are the scariest things. Yeah. Yeah. Dan. Um, oh, thanks, Granny Josie. This is the downstairs. I'm considering taking you up, but I, I don't want to scare you. I was like, I'm going to get downstairs situated. You can see where the boys like, destroyed stuff they pulled all the stuff off the couch i guess it's not that bad but they pulled all the like cushions off the couch and all of that um maybe it's quality fishing line um unbreakable oh totally unbreakable was so good yeah six cents that's the one that's it um dolls and clowns creep you out christine says favorite disney movie oh yeah the others is that's the one i was saying i really liked that one even and then, like even though i know how it ends or what's the twist in it? I don't want to sh spoil it. Like, I still get freaked out when I watch it. Yeah. Favorite Disney. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good one. Harry Potter's owned by Disney now, right? <laughs> no. Uh, like, princess or, like, just movie? I don't even know. I need a list. Peter Pan's fag name says. Peter Pan's good. Yeah. No, I haven't seen Shudder. Yes, I did watch Stranger Things. I, I waited till the second season came out. Um, and I'm glad I watched it. There were some scary parts and James has watched most of it. He really, really, really wanted to watch it. He's so, I mean, he's really into the macabre. He's really into like dark. That sounds makes it sound bad, but he's, he's not scared like by stuff like that. So that Jack in the box is upstairs in my workroom. I found it. <laughs> um, something you can sing us with. Um, we, I don't know. I mean, my mom was really into Alice in Wonderland, so I was I watched that quite a bit. But like, as far as princess Disney princess movies, I don't know. I don't know if it has to be a princess one. I don't know what other ones there are. I can't think of them. Jungle Book's always good. Mary Poppins. I've I've been Mary Poppins a number of times for um, Halloween, but I love uh, the. 
Ah, oh, the orangutan. Now I'm the king of the swingers boy, jungle VIP. You know that one. Um, <laughs> he wants to be a man of man cub. Stroll right into town. Be just like the other man, tired of monkeying around. So anyway, I love it because it's Louis Prima singing, and I love Louis Prima. Mary Poppin' is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how genius Quentin Tarantino can be, but he always has to throw in a bloodbath. This is true, yeah. I haven't seen Shape of Water yet, no. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Penny Dreadful, I haven't seen that either. Hemlock Grove. <laughs> Come on. The, yeah, there are some Quentin Tarantino ones I really like, and then there's some I haven't seen yet, so I'm trying to think which one of his I really like. I mean, Pulp Fiction's always good. Reservoir Dogs. I don't know. Good. They're good. Okay. I just bought a VH player, a VHS player, so I can watch Anastasia. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. I haven't seen that one in a long time. Snow White's good, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You had the Jungle Book on vinyl as a kid. Yeah, it's so good. So good. I'm just looking in the chat now. I'm just hanging. Actually, I have to go <laughs> to go get my kids here in a second. So I think I'm going to go, um, but I, I'm, I'll i be back. <laughs> Things will be better. Things will, I've got some video video ideas come, you know, so they're just, it's just time, right? It's like I was telling Rand, it's like I don't have my normal, it's not like I have my my homeschooling duties, my mom around the house cooking type duties, and my you know reseller YouTube. Like there's normally like the that's the way it is. Well now there's a lot of other stuff folded on top of that, like unpacking and downsizing and fixing all the stuff that's wrong with the house and like all of these like major things that have to be. So I so I'm still like I don't know one of these like one of these things has to give, and unfortunately it's my business. This is the sad things. So yeah, that uh, that's what has to give for now, and it's it is. I don't know if you guys have been through something like that where you've had to give up something that means so much to you, where it feels like a piece of your identity is getting taken away, and after a while, it's been gone for so long, you're not sure how you're going to get it back. I haven't been thinking about it at all, <laughs> as you might have noticed. Yeah, but it just feels like like a huge part of my, of who I am, like in what I, what I, my, my value of my sense of like, what's mine in, in this life, you know, cause I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a homeschool teacher. It's all for the family. And like, where's my piece? Like that was, that's my piece, but my piece has to get like, it's getting pushed aside until things get straightened out. So C'est la vie, right? Okay. <laughs> did I, oh, did I miss Vicky coming in? Hey, Vicky. <laughs> Hi, guys. Sorry if I missed you. Hi, Prairie Picking Girls. Okay. I'm going to, and apologies again if I missed you and I didn't get to say, hey, Corinne, I'm not sure I said hey to you. I'm looking. I'm giving up reselling completely. I hate it, but at the same time, I love what I'm giving it up for school full time. Uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, that's that's the thing. Yeah, Yvonne, if I can't do creative stuff, someone's going to get hurt. And this, and to me, this is my thing. Like, I didn't realize how much YouTube was going to mean to me and the community and, and, like, you guys that come to hang out and give me encouragement and just for, I don't know. It's not just about me giving me encouragement, but sometimes I feel like, oh, thank goodness for you guys. Um, you know, but just being able to be creative and being able to create videos and being able to share and, you know, the teacher in me wanting to share things I'm interested in. So, yeah, totally. Kaylee, talking to us is your piece. It is very therapeutic. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not. So, don't want to spoil it, but only watch Avengers Infinity Wars if you love. I do, I do. I do love Game of Thrones, and I do love Avengers Infinity Wars. I, I recently re-watched Game of Thrones but only I like fast forwarded through just to watch the storylines that I really like. So do you do that? I'm like, ah, I don't care about Arya this season. She's like, nah, I'm not into that. 
Like I, I liked her in certain seasons, but when she was like living in the house of the undying, I was just like, okay, I don't want to. Uh, there were certain, yeah. And when uh, Sander Clegane gets gets together with all the fire god people or whatever, and I'm like, eh, that's forward. Let's get to Jon Snow. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> all right. Thanks for coming to hang out. Um, I'm going to go get go get my kids. And I'll see about editing a video if I'm not going to unpack some more. Maybe I'll take a break this afternoon. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Have a really good afternoon. And I'll let you know how the movie is. Bye, everybody. Let me know if you have some pizza or if you go to the movies. <laughs>